We're here at Sycamore Ranch Vineyard and Winery, also our home in Dark Canyon and Crestline. And Dark Canyon, if you've never been here, is a really special place. 14 years ago, the bark beetles came in and a whole lot of the pine trees up here died. And I was looking at this bare slope now that all the trees had died. And we loved wine touring and wine tasting. And I thought, wow, Sierra Foothills, they do Zinfandel there and Syrah. Why don't we terrace it and plant them? I, I thought it would just look cool. They started growing and producing fruit. And I wasn't sure what to do with it. We, I started trying to figure out how to make wine. Not so great. It was a results. hobby. It was a hobby. He's a full time landscape architect with a firm, and it takes a lot of time with just a small amount of grapes. So yeah. we had some friends who. Yeah, we started yeah. a co op actually. Yeah. We went from doing like three barrels to over 200 cases, and people would come, and we had a great time, but I'm kind of fanatical about details. And I wanted to make really good wine, so we kind of talked about, well, why don't we go professional? A year and a half later, we actually started selling wine out of a taste room that we built in the building. And from there, it's been kind of a wild ride. I'm so amazed and actually surprised at the reception we've gotten from people. We basically produced and submitted 12 different varietals. Eight of those have come back with gold. Three of those have been best in class. I decided to enter four of our wines into the Sunset Magazine, their international wine competition. Our Grenache was rated 97 points. It won best red in the entire competition. So out of 2,700 wines, it won top spot. And um, frankly, I couldn't believe it. This is not all about me. I've had this small army of friends Definitely. and fans that, uh, that have come here and pitch in when we're pressing and cleaning, because it is just so much. There's so much more than what you see in the glass in you know, making that wine. And it really takes a huge amount of it people does. and effort. It almost takes a village <laughs> yeah. to make it happen. You know, really, I think wine is like really proof that God does love us and wants to be happy with us. You can open the bottle, you can pour it in your glass, you can look at it. The aromatics, you can enjoy it about five times before it ever hits your lips. You know, wine in the last hundred years has just, just leaped forward as far as the way it's produced and how good it can be. Things that just have really, really made it much more of a, an art form. It's definitely an art form.